Hello, today we are going to mention how to install Apache Cassandra on your Mac. First of all, I cannot uh, install and run it uh, with Homebrew package manager. That's why I had to install it manually. You should uh, download the latest stable version of Apache Cassandra on its official page. Nowadays, its uh, latest stable version is uh, 3. 11, 10. Here I have already installed it uh, in my downloads folder. Uh, Apache Cassandra exists as seen. Cassandra firstly requires Java 8 version and there is no Java on my Mac. That's why I'm going to install it. We can install Java 8 version with Homebrew package manager. I'm going to call Brave install and adopt uh, open gdk8 command this is going to install java 8 version i'm going to enter my password and uh, gdk8 uh, version is successfully installed i can check it with java dash version command and as seen, uh, Java uh, 180 version is installed on my environment. Once uh, Java is installed on your environment, you can uh, jump to bin directory. And here we are going to run Cassandra uh, file. That's why I'm going to call dot slash Cassandra. And uh, I'm going to pass uh, dash F argument here if you won't pass dash F argument then uh, you will have trouble uh, when you want to stop the Cassandra server uh, you have to find its process ID and uh, run uh, kill uh, dash 9 command uh, to stop the server but if you pass uh, dash F argument then uh, you will uh, terminate uh, this window and uh, Cassandra server will be stopped As seen, everything is okay and uh, my Cassandra server is up. I'm going to open a new terminal window and change its directory to the Apache Cassandra's bin folder. Here we are going to call this Python file uh, cqlsh.py. It's the acronym of Cassandra Query Language uh, shell.py. Let's call it with Cassandra Query Language shell.py. It returns error because Cassandra expects you to run this file with Python 2. Handling this is easy because Python 2 comes with your Mac by default. That's actually under the uh, user dash bin. Here we are going to call Python 2.7 and now we are going to call Cassandra query language uh, shell.py. Here it's opened and uh, as seen, uh, Cassandra is running on a uh, 9042 port. Here you can see the existing schemas or, or these are case spaces in Cassandra. Those are the existing case spaces or uh, it's the same with uh, schemas in relational databases. Here we can create new case spaces. Let's create one. Create case space and pass its name, for example, deep face. And uh, we are going to pass its properties with replication is equal to. Here I'm going to pass a curly bracket. And in the Charlie bracket, I'm going to pass class. Uh, it's going to be simple strategy. And as a second argument, I'm going to pass replication factor. For 
for example, it's going to be three. It's created a scene here. Let's describe case spaces again. Here I'm going to uh, see the name of my uh, new schema uh, deep face. Now we can uh, run a regular uh, data definition language uh, statements. For example, create table. The schema or case space is going to be deep face and the table name uh, is going to be embeddings, for example. And let's pass its fields. Its first field is image ID. It's going to be int type and it's also going to be primer k as a second argument we are going to pass image name and it's going to be text for example and as a third argument we are going to pass embedding value and it's going to be list of double it's also created we can also run a uh, data manipulation language statements. I mean that, for example, I can run uh, some insert statements. Insert into here. I'm going to pass the schema and the table name deep face dot embeddings here uh, in the parentheses. I'm going to pass the field names, for example, image ID and image name is going to be here values the uh, id is equal to one and the name is equal to for example specific and uh, i uh, i'm not gonna pass the uh, value for embedding let's run a select statement select all from the face dot embeddings as seen, it returns the value. I can also pass the uh, index value here because uh, Apache Cassandra is a, a type of K value store. And uh, in the best practice, we should pass the uh, ID always. So we have mentioned how to install and run Apache Cassandra K value store in this video. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.